Well, Bay Area team is working on a device that may someday do what can now only be done in the male body, and that is produce human sperm. ABC7 News reporter Eric Thomas with the story. For some men, the dream of becoming a father is difficult or even impossible because of causes ranging from chemotherapy to genetic factors. But what if science could replicate a critical piece of the male anatomy? Maybe we can create sperm from nothing. Dr. Paul Turek is a male reproductive specialist in San Francisco and part of a research group working on the equivalent of an artificial testicle. He says the project began with an animal model. We use skin cells, turn them into stem cells, and then put them in a mouse testicle. But you can't really grow a man's sperm in a mouse testicle and use it. He says the solution was to build their own incubator, mimicking the biology of the male reproductive system. It's housed at a San Francisco startup, MandelMed. Director Connie John says the device provides an artificial environment made up of several different kinds of human cells and other biologic components that provide support for sperm development. The process of spermatogenesis takes 60 days, so it's a very long process. We have to have a way that we can maintain these cells in a very healthy way. In a recently published trial, the team was able to keep the stem cells alive for 42 days. Roughly two thirds of the normal sperm development cycle. They say early evidence suggests that the artificial environment also influenced the cells to begin the transformation towards sperm cells. And they went along the pathway towards sperm by gene expression. So we can tell what a sperm is by the genes it expresses, by the clothes it wears. And it, it was putting on the right clothes. Dr. Turek believes the technology could someday be used in tandem with in vitro fertilization. And while creating human sperm outside the body is still many years away, he says the progress so far may give birth to the dream of creating functioning sperm using a patient's own skin cells. Having a project show that you can take a piece of skin and turn it into an early germ cell that may someday become a sperm is a huge conceptual leap. In San Francisco, Eric Thomas, ABC 7 News.